Hey, you're back with Blondie and Ginger, and we're here with our special <laughs> guest, Michael Jackson, no, <laughs> Teron Brooks. If you want to call in and ask Teron a question, the number is 970-351-1256. Now, have I been on this whole time? Because now the mic is on. Have you've been on. Oh, you've been on. It's just oh, the speakers oh, I'm sorry, are louder in yeah, here now I, from when we played. Now they're oh, I turned them off. Oh, I don't care. They were just I love hearing myself <laughs> talk. No, just kidding. <laughs> So, Blonde, do you want to ask him anything? <laughs> oh, okay. So, you've been on Broadway before. Yes. Um, could you talk to us a little bit about how you got into Broadway and the parts you played? Um, my first Broadway show was The Lion King. Mm -hmm. And I auditioned for The Lion King nine times. <laughs> and it was rough because they, they were... Mm -hmm. There's certain times where, as a performer or whatever, you just know you're right for something, and you just can't take it because someone's telling you no. And I knew that I was right for Simba, and I, I didn't accept it, so I went back and back and back and back and back. And I live in Los Angeles, and they were doing a company in Los Angeles. So I was hoping, not necessarily to go on Broadway, I was just like, they're in Los Angeles, it's gonna, it's gonna be a sit-down company, I could have work at home. So I ended up auditioning for the LA company, and then they flew me <laughs> to, to Broadway with, for my first show, and then, my friend, who lives in New York, got the part in Los Angeles. <laughs> it was weird. They told my agent, Tehran's more New York. I don't know. They'll tell you anything, but <laughs> I don't know what that means. My first Broadway show actually was Jesus Christ Superstar, and I, I was leaving to do Jesus Christ Superstar um, to play C uh, Peter, and then I got a movie like two weeks before 
and oh, um, the temptations. No, it was all about you. The kind of movie we're talking about, all about you. Um, it was an independent film, and it was a real. My agents are so cool because I should have done the Broadway show. I mean, they're losing money, and I'm sitting here going, "I'm not going to do that." My first Broadway show because I'm going to do this independent film, and um, <laughs> but um, Ricky Minor. Uh, who worked with Whitney Houston and who was the musical director of American Idol and now he's the musical director of The Tonight Show. He did the music for this film and I just, you had to make important choices in your life and I knew I would go to Broadway eventually but I didn't want to pass up this mm-hmm. opportunity. So mm-hmm. um, so I was on Broadway uh, for six months in The Lion King and, and then I did uh, Seaweed on Broadway for a while and uh, my first Broadway tour was Grease, the musical Grease. Who are you? I was the Teen Angel. And uh, I, uh, Sandy was Sutton Foster. Everybody knows Sutton. <laughs> and Jan was Marissa Jared Winoker, who played Tracy Turnblad. And so it was great, those times um, being on Broadway. You find, though, you're so excited to get there, and it's so prestigious, and, you know, you put on your resume, and... It's it, it is incredible when you're on stage knowing you're with the best of the best, mm-hmm. but it's not different than anything else. It's the stage, it's the cost. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's so it's 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 interesting how, you know, the myth about getting to this major thing and you're going to do this or this, this or that. If you come see Ragtime, if you're listening and you should, you're going to see a, a great great show that could possibly be on Broadway. It's just the house. It's just the mm-hmm. prestige. It doesn't mean that it's better per se. Yeah. Smaller rooms, dressing rooms have rats and stuff, you know what I mean? So it's not as glamorous as people think, but it is definitely a milestone that everybody tries to achieve too. But I mean, I would say to any performer, give your Broadway performance anywhere you are, you know. So. Um, have you ever been on an international tour? No, I have not been uh, with a musical or any anything. I, I, I sang for Phil Collins and I sang in Switzerland and I've been different places but it wasn't a uh, tour we actually rehearsed in Switzerland and then he was a part of the Montrose Jazz Festival um, so I got to do that I'm trying to think of anything else um, I've been to Italy, um, Italy. <laughs> and I went to Taiwan to sing with a, an orchestra there for the Disney Orchestra in Taiwan oh. um, I'm trying to think but not 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 a tour per se but if you could be a role, whether it was like opposite sex or another race, what would you be? Ex- what do you mean? You mean in ragtime, right? No, in anything. In anything? Oh, okay. Like if you were a girl. Oh, if I was a girl, what would I want to be? What would I like, want to? What female role do you just like envy and be like, oh, that's such an amazing role? That's a weird question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, I don't we think. We asked the people last time in ragtime if you could be another role in ragtime. What would you be? Uh huh. So you can just answer that too. No, I mean, I, I'll answer your question. I uh, it, it kind of on that lines. I love to be in Rent, and I love to be Roger. And he's it's a white yeah, guy. I know. But I yeah. would love to be Roger in Rent. <laughs> um, so I guess that's kind of what you're yeah, asking. Something funny. else. And in in uh, ragtime. I'm trying to think. I can't think. Co House is so great. I can't think. But I, I understand what your your question is. If you could just dream and, and be some something else that's not typecast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd love to be Roger. There's a Roger. They're doing rent um off Broadway and the Roger's black, so Oh. Yeah. When I was young, I'll tell the story and I auditioned for um West Side Story and um for Tony. And it was college, and it was an audition where it was an open audition, and everybody could hear each other. And um, they told me that I was the best person for the role, but because I was black, they weren't going to give it to me. Mm. So at that time, it was pretty heartbreaking just to know that you're the best. And it's college, and you're like, this is not like, okay. And then what happened? They they cast this guy, Tony. He couldn't do the part, his (laughs) voice or whatever. So they ended up hiring somebody, paying somebody to come, and so it was really like a slap in my face. So, you know, there's racist moments where, you you know, you have in your life where I can identify. I took that to be pretty uh, like a slap in the face because I was a student there. They already told me I was the best person. Okay, you're not going to give it to me. You're going to give it to this other person. But then you're going to pay someone oh, wow. to come in. So, um, And I think I could have been a great Tony. You know, just doesn't matter if I'm black or not. But 
Um, hopefully, I think they're doing that now, more blind casting, and people are being able to see people in different lights now. But mm -hmm. Do you want to read this ad for us? Okay. <laughs> we have to read ads on the radio, so. Sure. Why not have you read it? <laughs> Is this it right here? Yep. Okay. This is a message from Sam Wood, General Manager of UNC Student Radio. UNC Student Radio needs your help. If you are a UNC student, then you qualify to help us. Your student senate is voting on our budget. Same with all the other student fee programs on campus. We need you to help us by going to the student fee open forum this Thursday, which is today. Today's Thursday, right? Oh, yeah, it is. From 5 to 7. <laughs> you don't need to be there the whole time. Just go and tell the students send it why you love the radio. And bring some friends with you as well. Thank you. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> um, I have a question. Yeah. If you, is there like a role or like a show that you really want to be in? Like a dream role or dream show that you haven't got to be in yet? Uh I think this is it. This is it. <laughs> is that scary? I really do. I think this is this is one of them. No, that's awesome. This is one of them. It really is. Show with you where you're living your dream. Yeah, no. Uh, this is a year <laughs> of dreams, I'm telling you. Um but I think this I I love to be in Wicked. I think I'm too old now, but Fiero, they cast black too sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um that would have been fun just because at the time Wicked was so huge, it's still huge now, but I <clears> what I would like to do next is originate a Broadway show, a not play a part that's been played. And I've never been in a show that's like a cast Broadway show that's a brand new show. Mm -hmm. So I'm still waiting for that, I think. It'll happen. <laughs> Actually, thank you. Um, let's play music. Okay.